What's up YouTube? It's your boy Lopes and welcome back to another video. Today we're installing carbon mirror caps on my 22 BRZ. These will fit the GR86s and BRZs sent up by Suma Performance. So I'm gonna give them a big shout out. Check their site out. They got a lot of awesome stuff for plenty of platforms including BRZs. The new WXs are coming out, the new Civics and a lot of stuff like that. So today we're gonna be installing those mirror caps and I think it's gonna add a nice little touch to the car. My goal with this build is to add touches of carbon everywhere. You guys know that I am a carbon carbon kind of fanatic, you guys see my HM and poster right here. I like carbon. So this is just a mirror cap overlay, so it's gonna go over the original mirror cap. Thanks again for Super Performance setting it out. Let's check it out and uh, let's get installed with this. In the package we have some adhesive promoter. Super excited to actually check these things out. Check that out. The weave actually looks really, really nice. And the finish on it looks absolutely really, really nice. As you see, there's just a bit of 3M tape. But check that out. Like, I'm trying to get some nice close-ups for you guys. Like, the weave looks really, really, really nice. They did a really good job on this. I'm actually really, really excited to put these things on. So, don't mind you, the car is really dirty. Just want to see what they look like. So, we can leave a bit of a gap all around like that. And then the lip doesn't look that big at all so it won't look too much like a mirror cap sometimes you get these and it looks you can really tell because the carbon cap is actually really thick but I actually like this it's just a little bit of carbon that's added to the car a little iffy at first because it's gonna change the flow of the car just a little bit but uh I don't know I think I'm actually gonna like it. once we have it on we'll take a look and the best thing about this is you're not committing to a whole mirror cap you're just committing to a cover so you can always take it off afterwards if need be but check it out in the sun the weave looks actually really really good I'm actually impressed especially around the bends over here usually the weaves kind of get messed up on like cheap carbon overlays and stuff but really really nice stuff I gotta, I gotta give it to the guys there at Super Performance. You guys checked out one of the last videos on the BRZ. Uh, we actually adjusted the fitment and got our fitment absolutely perfect. I don't know if you saw that video, but check that out. The car is looking optimal now. Check it out, check it out. Look at that, look at that fitment. And then we installed the BWR LCAs. You can kind of peek through here and kind of see it like peeking right over there. The, they are the billet ones. They look absolutely sick. The car's coming along absolutely beautiful. I'm, I love this car. I know the GR86s come with black mirrors, so it'll kind of flow like that, but what do you guys think? Let's put it on. I'm gonna clean up the car just a little bit. I'm going to basically wipe down the mirrors, make sure there's no dust or anything underneath, and then we're gonna stick them on and see how they look. So what we're gonna do first is we're actually gonna wipe down the mirror. I'm just using water with a rag right now, and then we're gonna dry it completely. I do not want to use any chemicals, this is a brand new reg, and then we're going to dry it up just so that we don't add anything to the mirror that can basically, you know, make the adhesive not stick properly. We're going to do this mirror also, just a quick wipe down with water and a fresh reg, and then we're going to dry it completely. Luckily it's like 40 degrees today, so this shit should dry quick. Look who showed up. What a surprise. The one, the only. What a surprise. I didn't even know you are coming. Well, guys, you see he has a Bass Pro hat. If you guys like fishing, check out his Instagram and TikTok. He catches monsters. What's, yo, plug it up, fam. Hooked full show. I'll put it on the, I'll put it like right around, where's my finger? Around here. Check it out. He catches some right big ass fish and sometimes I'm involved with those big ass fish. So yeah, check it out, yeah. give him a follow. Give Alex some love. You know. All right, so what we're gonna do now is peel the 3M tape on the back of this. If you want, you can use an adhesive promoter, but I'm always hesitant that it's gonna affect the paint. So I'm gonna try not using it, and then what I'll do is I'll give you guys an update. If it starts coming loose, I'll put some more 3M tape, and then I'll use it afterwards. But let's try not using it and just sticking it on like this and see how it goes. I'm always worrisome putting something on my paint of that caliber. Uh, I've never done it before and I really don't want to do it. I hope I don't have to. I've done mirror caps before without it and it's held. So uh, 
let's see how it goes. Taking it off now, we're gonna line it to the best of our abilities. I'm gonna follow the line on the actual mirror cap so you don't see the gray behind it. This may take a few attempts, but the top looks great. Now we're just gonna press down completely on, especially where the 3M is, right? So what I'm gonna do is just pressing down on these areas. And then press down. And I have a feeling this will hold. I know they give you the, the 3M uh, adhesive promoter, but I have a feeling it's gonna be okay because at the end of the day, the drag's gonna be pushing this way and it's gonna push a meerkat down. It's not like we're going 100 kilometers or miles per hour in reverse and we'll get underneath the slip. But I think we'll be okay, especially today's a really warm day. I have a feeling if you do this in a colder climate, you might not have as good of a stick with the 3M, but right now we're like 40 degrees, so it's pretty good. There you go, not too bad. Check it out. The fitment's actually really, really nice on it. I lined it up to the best of my ability. And then when we look at it, let's take a look. It looks pretty good. It's definitely gonna take me a little bit of getting used to because I'm used to the paint colored uh, or the paint matched mirrors. But once we start adding a little bit of carbon to like the ducktail, something along those lines, or even like a front lip. But what do you guys think? Comment down below. These are pretty inexpensive. Once again, I'll link them down below with my discount code. So check that out. I'm gonna do the other side. Then we're gonna do a bit of a shoot and we'll take a look. It's not it's not too bad like what's nice about it is the car is gray so it kind of blends in is so, so it is it gray? Silver to me. This is silver or gray? Silver. The color code says magnet gray. My eyes say silver. Well if I get close enough to those eyes we'll see why. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take a we'll, <laughs> we'll put the other one on and then we'll do a bit of a cinematic shoot so you guys can check it out the car is hella dirty but I'm actually kind of liking it, just giving the car a bit of pop, a little bit of character and something different. But what's nice is the car is a dark colored car, so it kind of just flows with everything. So there it is. What do you guys think? Hope you guys enjoyed those cinematics. I just, you know, rinsed the car quickly just for some cinematic effects. Uh, but what do you think? I think the weave and everything on it looks really, really good. Fitment looks really, really nice on it too. Check that out. Some nice close shots. And uh, like I said, it goes with our carbon STI kind of garnishes here. It kind of flows eventually. What I'm planning to do is get some carbon in the front end and the rear and the kind of flow through the car. We're not going to go too crazy with carbon on the car, we're just going to have enough to kind of, you know, give a little pops throughout the car and maybe a little bit in the engine bay also. Another piece of the puzzle, the car's looking absolutely amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I want to say thank you so much for watching. Once again, big, big, big shout out to Super Performance for sending these out. Fitment's absolutely remarkable as you guys see. The finish is nice and the weave is great. Like I said, I did not put the adhesive promoter. I'm always a little iffy on it. We just have the 3M and it looks like it's holding perfectly fine now. I will keep you guys updated if it doesn't. If you guys are comfortable with it, use the adhesive promoter. If you're not like myself, just know you may risk it coming off and coming loose. But just basically, you just gotta keep an eye on it and see how it goes. I am red, I am sweaty, it's 40 plus degrees. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, I want you guys to smash that like button. Get the algorithm up. I need you guys to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe is a big thing. We're trying to hit 30K. And if you can do one more thing, I know it's a lot I'm asking, but you know, 40 plus degrees, sweating, looking this red, hit that notification button so you guys stay tuned to all the videos. I do post sporadically through the week sometimes, and I, sometimes it's on schedule, but sometimes I feel like I want to post another video and give you guys more content. If you guys enjoy the BRZ content, check out the CRV content. 
It's completely different than the BRZ stuff. It's gonna be a lifted overland build with JDM parts on it, and then the BRZ is gonna be kind of the, the slam car with, you know, we're gonna have power and everything underneath this one. Like, it's a nice contrast to the channel. All right, guys. Peace out, do it once, do it right. Check out lopesgarage.com, get yourself some merch. I know it's a lot of information coming at you. Like, comment, subscribe, and later.